Welcome along to the second week of Times 2 Rewards. And if you want to get the most out of your Times 2 Rewards, then you've got to stay tuned to this video and get your strategy guide so you start your GP off to an absolute flyer. Yes, we want, and we get the Series 11 crate. That never happens. That is where the luck is starting to turn. Gold crate from the spinner. Be my guest. Happy days. Let's open it up. And then we'll get into the event. So another GP, it is times two rewards. So hopefully you got great rewards last week and you got a lot of them as well as we get some George Russell in that crate. But Bahrain GP is over with and we move on to Jeddah. So hopefully it's not a domination like Max Verstappen, but hopefully it's a domination for you watching in this GP event. So let's go and take a look what is boosted as we get Vagabond, and let's take a look. So, Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, we have Nico Hulkenberg, the Hulkmeister, with a 10% boost. We've got Sergio Perez, also receiving a 10% boost as well, and a car part, Epic Vector, 10% boosted. No rares, no commons boosted, solely Epics, so two drivers and a part to look out for to see if they are good enough for you. Now, Let's take a look. And as you should know already, there is no legendary drivers permitted. Reason being that legendary drivers are only used in events outside the F1 calendar. So because we have the Jeddah GP in Saudi Arabia, there is no legendary drivers available. Expect that to return to permitted next week. The has return of a decent boost. Ode boost is back and that is good for some cornering, some pick time in there as well. So very very decent so let's have a look at the tracks that we've got coming up in qualifying for you before we get into the track maps now remember when we do our track maps we use the very best boosts on the game that is because while well, they are the best if you do not have the boosts available anything with a race start or cornering or together is even better so you need to make sure you're using one of them if you don't have the ones available qualifying and it's no shock to see Jeddah on there twice. Jeddah with a 9% chance of rain. Yes, you read that right. It's like Bahrain last week. We have potential wet weather in Jeddah qualifying. 26 to 37 degrees as well. We've got rain potentially at Silverstone, 25%. We've got Melbourne with 10% chance of rain. And then we finish off 27 degrees to 38. Pretty hot over in Jeddah for the final race in race four. So hopefully you can go and smash it. And remember, the easiest day to qualify for your GP is on a Thursday because usually you, you are matched with your similar flag count. So that is key. Make sure to hit that like button on the video. Let me see your support. Let's get into our track maps. We've got three of them all together and let's take a look. So here we are then. First up, we have Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. So we haven't had this too much lately in GPs. So this is what we're going to go for with this. A 9% chance of rain means that we have to go through all of the strategies as well, even though we haven't raced Jeddah in the wet hardly at all. It is a 2 2 2 1 from the front and a 3 hard, 2 soft, 2 soft with driver 2. Merlion and Hook, very good for you. We have got in the dry, two soft, two soft, three hard. And I do like the three hard, three hard, one soft. Now, if you're not confident running hards twice, because it can work, you want to go three hard, two soft, two medium. Copper and Prince, Prince helping you defend that a little bit better. Now, let's look at the wet. And this is a bit of trial and error because we hardly ever have it. So we've gone for a similar strategy as we do in Miami. We've gone a 3 3 1 and a 2 3 2 from the front. Expecting the AI to run a 3 3 1 or a 3 4, but they're going to struggle to do that four laps in. So probably run out of tires like they do at Miami. So we're going to do the opposite from the back 2 3 3, or sorry, 2 3 2 and a 1 3 3. That is for the undercut and making sure you are never pitting the same time as everybody else. Now, over here on the right hand side, over there is your track map. You can see two key places to conserve through that last sector and down the start straight. 
and then you want to push all the way through pretty much that first sector and then medium to conserve the final bit. That first half of the track is great for attacking, the second half of the track not very good at all. So you want to conserve your power unit, make the most of that increase in percentage and attack in the corners. And just a quick shout, remember at Jeddah, if it is too hot, you need to watch your tyres because if it's over 33 degrees, you need to move to basically mediums instead of softs, hard instead of mediums. Now, we're at Silverstone, the home of Motorsport. Two soft, two soft, free medium, and a free medium, two soft, two soft from the front, Merlion and Kawhi, because we're doing more than one stop. Drivers starting P13 to P24, we've got the two soft, two soft, free medium, and we've got the same strategy, in fact, free medium, two soft, two soft. Copper and Kawhi helping you out with that race start boost from the back. Now we have to go through the wet because it's a 25% chance. Every AI will pit on lap number four. Yes, number four. Apart from the very odd car that does a free four. So if you're from the front, you want to pit a four wet, three wet. If you're from the back or you're towards the back, a three wet, four wet. Now we've left drivers starting P13 to P24 on a four wet in case you cannot get the gap between your two drivers. Remember? You're going to need around probably three and a half to five seconds gap between you two to run the same strategy. <laughs> oh God, I'm full of air. Lovely. So, and that is your strategy. On the right hand side then, we have got your map. A few places to conserve around here. You can see back straight, home straight, and you've got the illustrate book and maggots and Beckett's just before you get to there. You really want to conserve down. Great places on the two straights to save power unit on the hangar straight and the wellington so basically conserve down anything straight and attack in the corners great little track here and obviously if you're doing a four wet three wet or three wet four wet just watch yourself on tires you can't push on that four lap sprint too much so race three we move to melbourne and it's a 10 percent chance around melbourne again so it could be a tricky qualifying with the wet in the first three races we've got a free soft free soft two soft and a four medium four medium for you to run Merlion and Kawhi, we've got Kawhi and Copper in there. We've also got some tyre management boosts in Nazar to try and help you. This track, after its new update, is not as bad on tyres as it once was, so you can actually push a little bit more now as well. And we'll run you through the wets. Well, front half of the field are going to pit on lap 5, so drivers starting around 1 to 10 will pit lap 5. Anyone else after will start and pit on lap 4. So you, if you are starting from the back, you need to get into the top 10 and be ahead of the field when you pit on lap four. Pretty impossible to do five laps on the wets round here, and it'll be very much of a struggle. So keep to a 4-4, get the undercut, push on your out lap as well. So really good chances to score points. You can see on the right-hand side, two key places to conserve your power unit and attack in the corners. It is the best thing available. So that is your strategy guide done and dusted. If you've watched this far, Comment down below what two drivers will you be running this weekend or this week. Are you using Perez and Hulkenberg or are you going with a different combination? Do let me know down below. On the free-to-play account, I'll be using Perez because he's my best driver anyway, as you will see. And I might even throw in Nico Hulkenberg as well. We will await to see. So let me know down below. We'll see you in the qualifying guide on Friday for the weekend. But remember... Tomorrow, I will release my qualifying on the free-to-play account. So if you want to hold fire, it'll be out around 2 o'clock, maybe 3 o'clock. So make sure to wait, watch me race, and then you too can take on the hints, tips, and tricks that I follow and score some big points too.